Yesterday, the Krakens squared off against the Kongs in Super Bowl 2022. I'm not gonna lie to you. Sports aren't my bag, baby. But I'll tell you what is. Super Bowl commercials featuring some of my favorite comedians of all time. If you've been following my channel, which you should subscribe to now if you haven't at Adam Does Movies, I've been teasing a video about my top 10 comedies of all time. Uh, you can find it on Letterboxd right now, they're, they're all there. Two of those said films are The Cable Guy and Austin Powers' International Man of Mystery. The Super Bowl delivered the nostalgia for me and knocked it out of the park in those commercials. First off, we have Verizon selling I don't know, I don't care, some some mesh network thing. All I was interested in was seeing Jim Carrey as Chip Douglas again, or Larry Tate from a little show called Bewitched. He went by many names. He had many aliases. Alias, L alias C, I'm not sure how you say that. Jim Carrey hasn't missed a step as this character. It was so fun to see him back. Now. The writing is definitely a little lacking in the commercial. It doesn't feel like a Ben Stiller vehicle uh, who wrote and directed Cable Guy amongst some of my other favorites like Zoolander and Dodgeball and Tropic Thunder. He really got me until Zoolander 2 where he ruined it all. But we're going to talk about the negatives right now. The jokes aren't quite landing like they do in the film, but it's hard when you're talking about a really uncomfortable dark comedy like Cable Guy. It's not really meant for a 30 second to a minute TV spot. That said, Jim Carrey's all in. He's delivering what he can work with. The actress in the commercials from a more modern comedy, Cock Blockers, which I didn't finish. I didn't find it all that funny. I heard it was good. I just, I, I wasn't invested in the first 15 minutes and I guess I lost interest and never went back. Maybe I should. Uh, let me know if I should in the comments. She's a really lame role. She's a little obnoxious to me, a little stuck up, a little pompous, a uh, new gen, if you will. And I guess I'm just confused why they went this route and didn't just bring back Matthew Broderick uh, in the role. Ferris Bueller, get him in here. He was in the original Cable Guy. Instead, we have this young actress who, I mean, maybe Verizon thinks that old people or oldish people don't get it. They're not hip. Huh? You know, Austin Powers reference, we'll get into that in a second. When we get to it now, overall, the, the Cable Guy Verizon commercial was a success. I dug it. It was great seeing Chip Douglas back. But that Austin Powers commercial from GM, I think, that was perfect. Well, close. Very close to perfect. I'm not sure if Mike Myers had a hand in writing this commercial or if he had to approve it or whatnot, but it feels very similar to Austin Powers. Granted, it's not too hard to come up with references to old movies, the, the, the sequels in Austin Powers did that constantly, but the way that they kind of organically get through the conversation and tip the hat to the property was very well done. Now we do have to pour one out for Vern Troyer who died a few years back, our mini me is no more. This time we have baby me. That's right, Scotty Boy's got a baby in this and number two's not impressed. Number two's back as well, along with Frau who's still as loud and obnoxious as ever, in a good way. As much as I would love to see a sequel to Cable Guy, Ben Stiller really burned me with Zoolander 2, so I just don't know if he has it in him anymore to make a great comedy. But Austin Powers 4? Or maybe we just kind of ignore 3, which is kind of a disaster. Or, or Mike Myers just wakes up from a dream with hot chicks around him and he's like, I just had the most crazy dream that I was brothers with Dr. Evil and there's a bunch of Hollywood actors playing us in a movie. That would be very easy to do because the Austin Powers movies are really stupid in a great way. Um, but I would love to see an Austin Powers 4. It's just seeing this crew back together, not missing a step. I, I mean, it was great. Yes, Mike Myers is, you know, he's, he's getting older. He's gaining a little weight, but pick up a Bowflex. All right, get, on the, get in the gym, use the Chris Hemsworth coach and uh, just get jacked. Maybe not that, don't go that aggressive, but just, you know, lose a couple pounds. You still look good in the makeup. Uh, it's just a, a heavy Austin Powers, not really the, ch actually, that would be funny. A fat Austin Powers would be kind of funny. <laughs> if anyone could pull it off, Mike Myers could, and he needs a win. It's been a long time. I'm not gonna waste any more time. I just wanted to give my two cents on the commercials. Yes, we see these characters again, but it comes at the expense of corporations. Evil giant corporations taking our money and, and making more products. They're trying to make us fall in love with them by using our favorite franchises against us. And that's disgusting. But 
I got a couple laughs out of it, and I'm not gonna buy either of the products, so I don't care. You, you got me. And maybe it'll draw attention to more of these films. Maybe we do get a Cable Guy 2, and it is good. I highly doubt it would be, but maybe, just maybe, Jim Carrey can pull off anything. I truly believe that. All right, again, let me know in the comments what you thought, what commercials you would like to see in the future with these old property characters. Maybe a uh, Happy Gilmore? Subway? It's right there. He was the Subway spokesman in the movie. Bring it out, Subway. Drop a couple million for a Super Bowl ad. Get Adam Sandler back on the green. We got a picture. I would love if you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. You can't do one or the other. That's silly. If you subscribe, you want to watch these videos, and that bell is the only way they're going to show up in your feed. It's a really weird system YouTube has structured here. No one understands anything that goes on in their minds. It's complicated. It's... It's, it's, it's stupid. Anyway, uh, like the video if you had a good time, share it with your friends, and hopefully I'll see you around. Take care. These commercials are definitely a trend going around. I remember a few years ago, we had Doc from Back to the Future doing ads for something. I have no idea what it was, so well done there. Man, these brands put all this money into these commercials, and I have no idea what it's for. Oh yeah, you can find me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies if you really like the channel, or you can join right here, be a member, get access to exclusive shows, get badges, uh, community tab posts that only go to a few select individuals like yourself. It's a good time, it helps grow my show.